Hey everyone, welcome back to the weekly chat. I've just renamed it that. <laughs> um, I renamed it last week, but now I'm thinking it sounds like a talk show. Welcome back to the weekly chat. Um, weekly chat and loves instead of calling it Friday loves like I did for the past three years. I've just, not three years, two years. I've just decided to change it because I've decided that I want to be sharing a few more like life stories with you guys during the week just because I feel like I want to make this a talk show. <laughs> I love talk shows. I watch them every single day and they're kind of rubbing off on me. So this is the weekly chat. Thank you so much for what you said on Tuesday's trial run video. Um, I was just really bummed out that the lighting looked off. So let me tell you the backstory. Basically in this new setup, I have lighting, okay, just like I did in my previous place. But in my previous place, I had the camera set up right in front of a window, kind of like to the side. Um, and I do have two windows in front of me, but the sun rises on the opposite side of the house as it did in my other house. So when I face, like, if the sun's coming through the windows, it jacks up the lighting apparently. And my room is really light and bright that day, and I thought, I'll just, you know, it was about noon, I'll just film this video, my husband was home to watch the kids and it just looked darker and I got really nervous about it. I still posted the video because I wanted to share my makeup of the day and I still wanted to share the content, but I think I've since fixed the lighting. I am filming at 2.30 in the afternoon versus noon, so the sun's a little bit over the house. I think that has a lot to do with it. I'm not an expert, but thank you so much for your encouraging words that you, you didn't care so much and that just made me feel so much better, but I was really stressing about it because I want to put out good stuff for you guys, you know? So anyways, thank you for that. Um, this week was a great week. Um, we got to try a lot of new things this week. Not a lot of new things, but a few new things, and I just have lots to chat with you guys about. So I want to start off with food. <laughs> My husband and I are food junkies. Like, I think we dream about food. We're always planning our next meal. We're just, I don't know, we really enjoy cooking, and that's something we've, over the course of our marriage, enjoy t doing together. Um, I used to do a lot of the cooking when the kids were younger and uh, I don't know just as we've grown up here through the years we've just started to do it more and more together and this week we had the opportunity to try Home Chef. Now back in the fall my husband and I were watching football and a commercial for this food home delivery service thing came on the TV and it was this commercial where you could pick what you want and they send you the fresh ingredients to your doorstep and then you would just prepare it yourself. And my husband was like, we need to do that. We need to sign up for that and try it. I'm like, okay. So this week we did, and um, I will insert the footage and just kind of explain it to you, but basically the box arrived at our doorstep and it comes in a refrigerated box. So if you're not home, no big deal. If you're at work, no big deal. They will still drop it off and it comes with everything is all packaged separately with all of your meals. We chose to get three meals this week and we just did the two servings, so just for the two of us, because we knew my kids probably wouldn't need it, because they won't eat anything other than chicken nuggets and peanut butter and jelly anyways. But everything came so nicely packaged. I was really impressed with the quality of the produce that came in there. It was incredibly fresh. Um, it came with the recipe cards, step-by-step -step instructions. It's really dummy proof. They even show you how to chop things if you were really unfamiliar with stuff. But what it is, is it's the the service, this monthly food service, where you can choose weekly how many meals you want to receive, how many servings of that meal you want to receive. It's completely customizable whether you have allergies, whether you want gluten-free, soy-free, whatever it is, you, what, whatever you like, what you don't like, you can tell them. It is just completely to your needs. There's low calorie options, there's uh, low carb options, everything is pre-portioned. Um, I just think it's really neat. I was really really impressed with the service and I think it's something fun especially when you get tired of making the same old things you don't know what to, you want to make or you just I don't know you're just kind of at a rut when it comes to cooking I think this would be a great gift idea for somebody um, I think this would be great in the summertime if you're like going to your cabin and you want to not bring a lot of food and then you can just pay to have it brought to you kind of thing um, I don't know and the food turned out so delicious we had the blue cheese butter on top of a steak with the vegetables. I don't know, it was just absolutely delicious. I do have a discount code that you guys can use. I do not make any money off of this. This is not an affiliate situation. This is just a code that you guys can use if you're interested in the service. And the code is CG30 and that'll get you $30 off of your first order. So 
I was really impressed. My husband and I had a lot of fun with it, and I think it's an, also a great way to get your kids into the kitchen, too, because they can get the meal, like older kids, obviously, but like, say, teenagers, you know, what, introduce them to cooking. Um, you don't have to come up with the recipes or whatever. They can pick what they want to make that week or just let them choose the meals that are going to come. So, and you can choose the day you want it delivered to. We chose Wednesday because that way it's kind of like midweek and then you don't have to cook Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday because we chose three meals. And then that brings you into the weekend. And on the weekend, we usually just kind of not really cook. <laughs> we kind of just open up something out of the freezer. So it kind of gives us the rest of the week off from cooking. Um, so that was this week's meals. Um, this week's wine. Uh, maybe more important than the meals. No, not really. Um, I have found two new wines I've never tried before, and oh my goodness. In fact, I'm going to go into the car after I'm done filming this and pick up these exact two bottles again. Um, they are that good. So it is summer. I am into my whites right now because it is hot. I like to have a cool, crisp, cold drink. Kind of like right now, I just finished an iced coffee, which is why I'm kind of like, ugh. Um, it was a giant iced coffee. Um, it's hot. I don't want a hot cup of coffee in the afternoon. I want a cold, cool, refreshing drink. So I picked up the Bella Sera Pinot Grigio, and this says it's a product of Italy, so I don't know. It is imported, um, imported by Bella Sera. So this is a delicious wine to have with a light pasta dish or some chicken or something just really summery. It's a little bit more florally. Now I don't mean florally like it's going to taste like marigolds or magnolia. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be just really, really light and it smells so good. It's very aromatic. This one has, um, it doesn't tell you. It's just very crisp. It's delicious. Definitely, definitely recommend that one. Just go out and buy it. And then the next one I bought uh, because of the label. Um, you know how makeup packaging sucks you in or, or shirt or shoes or whatever, like it catches your eye. <laughs> this label totally caught my eye. And it's Three Blind Moose. I think it's really funny. I think it's super cute. Um, so this wine is a little bit, uh, I almost want to say like, like heavier. This is lighter and more florally. This is still light and refreshing, but it's, it's a little bit more full body versus this is like lighter. So good. This is very fruity. I want to say melon is in here. Yeah. Citrus, pear, and melon. That melon just really rounds out the sweetness. So it's like crisp but sweet. This one, ugh. Just go get this. Go get you a three blind mousse and then you will thank me because you're going to have to go back to this. Actually, you know what? Don't just pick up one bottle. Pick up two because it's that good. Now I have a few things. I wanted to mention, I don't remember who told me, but thank you so much for letting me know about the community coffee. I picked up this at the grocery store. You said this was locally made in Louisiana and I've been drinking this flavor, which is the medium dark cafe special. I bought this from a Keurig and I love this. This is really good. And then I bought this one. I haven't drank this yet, but this um, is the house blend medium dark roast coffee. So thank you so much for letting me know about this. You know, wherever I live, I always like to try local stuff. And that's another fun part about moving around the country so much is that you get to try a lot of things that you otherwise probably would have never tried, um, especially local things. So if there's any other local things down here in Mississippi or even Louisiana or in the panhandle of Florida, Alabama, anywhere down along the coast here that, uh, my family and I need to check out, please let me know because we're only here for a short amount of time and we want to take in as much of the culture as possible. So that would be awesome because we're always looking for a little something to do on the weekend. So thank you for the coffee recommendation. It is delicious and I love my coffee almost as much as I love my wine. A body thing that I picked up this week, actually last week, and I've been taking baths just to kind of relax at the end of the evening. Um, it's just something I enjoy doing. This smells freaking phenomenal. It is the Bath & Body Works Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea Body Wash and Foam Bath. This really bubbles up too, by the way. I put other like foam baths or bath bubble bath or whatever in the tub and it's like, where's the bubbles? This is a serious bubbler. And then this, this is the kind of bubbling that you see in like movies where there's just bubbles everywhere. And I mean, you can literally die in a bath of bubbles. That's this kind of wash, which is great because you don't need a lot. This smells so good. 
So this isn't like eucalyptus, like the medicinal eucalyptus. This one almost smells like more tea than eucalyptus, but it, the tea really softens it, so it's really just pleasant. Um, let me smell it one more time. Yes, actually my son, my son's like, Mommy, I used that in the bath. I'm like, yes, you did, honey. Um, he thought it was really nice, too. He's four. <laughs> But this is just so good. It smells amazing. So definitely highly recommend this bubble bath. So my nail polish collection video, I filmed that. That'll be up on Thursday, this next Thursday. Um, and so you'll see my whole collection. And I'm really excited about that. I've never shared my entire nail polish collection with you guys. I've shared my makeup collection. Um, so if you're interested in the makeup one, that is in my video playlist. But I'll link it below for you. Um, I'm really excited about my nail polish collection because I used to hate painting my nails because I absolutely sucked at painting my nails. I was that person who painted their nails and um, it would be all on the skin and I would leave it because I figured I'll wash my hands enough it'll crisp and fall off. Yeah, I was that person. Um, I've since learned a little bit more about taking care of your nails and how to paint them. I literally watched several videos on how to paint your nails because there is a way to do it <laughs> and a way not to do it. Um, but anyways, I digress. So and my toenails this week, I painted them with this OPI Elephantastic Pink. Strange name, but it's a really great pink. It's just like pink. But it's like a brightening pink. It looks really good when your skin is more tanned. And I really like this color. And it was a good formula. And speaking of formula, this blew me out of the water. I have one coat of this on. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Nail Color. This is my first bottle from uh, this line by Sally Hansen. I tried her Hard as Nails line, which is great. This is my first time trying this color. This is uh, called Mint Sprint. I was blown away. One coat. Like, it is pretty thick. Like, the formulation. But not thick like bad. Like, it drew... It drew for how thick it was, it dried really fast. Uh, but the color I think is really fun. I've been looking for like a really good turquoise. So if you have any other recommendations, let me know. But I was incredibly impressed with this line. So there, if you have any other colors in this line that are awesome, let me know. Because I'm going to need to go out and pick them up. But totally, totally impressed by that. Sunscreen is absolutely pertinent. In fact, after I got fried last week, I'm still recovering. I'm not even kidding you. My skin, this is so gross, but my skin has like bubbled up it's really bad it's been itching for a week because of healing apparently I did not put enough sunscreen on and anyways that kind of burn is really bad so you need to wear sunscreen every day <laughs> whether you go outside for five minutes or five seconds or five hours you need to wear sunscreen and this is the sunscreen that I've been wearing on my face and my decollete now let me just tell you the reason I don't love most sunscreens is because number one they're too greasy Okay, and if, if you're going to wear a nice shirt or a nice necklace or a nice dress and you're going to go outside, you want to be protected, but you don't want to get it all greasy and just feel disgusting and heavy. So I've been wearing this. This is the Corez uh, Sun Care Yogurt Nourishing Fluid Veil Sunscreen SPF 30. It's very lightweight. It is not greasy. It smells really, really nice. And my skin does not look greasy, nor does it feel greasy and tacky. You know how sunscreens that are really just like sunscreen, you slap it on and it's just so thick and heavy and you look like a grease ball. This is not like that. This is just one of those really nice ones you can wear under your makeup if you want to by itself with something pretty and it's not going to leave your skin all dewy, greasy, tacky, ugh. You know what I mean? Like there's a time and a place for that where you don't care. When you're out in the woods cutting down trees so a lighter weight sunscreen is what i prefer especially under makeup you know what i mean like anyways been enjoying this sunscreen and it is very nice all right now for makeup okay this foundation i think i i talked about this in tuesday's video i will use it in tomorrow's video and i just can't put it down it is freaking phenomenal and i forgot how good it was because i'm always on the quest to find the next best thing you know and then when you stop on the quest when you stop be questing when you stop questing <laughs> when you stop searching for the next best thing you open your drawer and you realize you might already have it and that is true not just with foundation um this is the laura geller baked liquid radiance foundation it's so good the bottle is a glass frosted bottle it's really pretty packaging i think 
I'm in the shade medium. This Part of the reason I don't wear this year round is because I bought it in the shade medium for the summertime and I can only use this when I'm self tanned. If I'm not self tanned, this is too dark for me. It's just such a good foundation. Great coverage. Very, I don't even have powder on. I only have powder underneath my eyes. This is just like, the foundation is very satiny, very pretty, very skin like. Now I do get kind of dewy with this if I were to be outside in the humidity. But in my house, in the air conditioning, I would say about six hours, I might need to powder a little bit. But man, it just lasts. It looks beautiful. It doesn't look makeup-y at all. In fact, lately, I've been putting on less foundation than ever because my skin's like loving the humidity for some reason. That and using good skincare really helps and having less stress really helps. But this foundation is beautiful and I, I don't know, I've been really into not wearing a lot of heavy makeup because my skin looks good and this doesn't take away from my skin looking good. You know what I mean? Like you put on the makeup and it almost enhances your skin or something. I don't know. It's fabulous. I love it. Okay, moving on to eyes. So for my base this week, this is what I've been using every time I put on eyeshadow. This is the Ico Me and My Shadow Waterproof Shadow, Shadow Liner in the shade Topaz. It's just... I don't think, like, I bought this after watching Makeup by Tiffany D do a tutorial with it, and she also had talked about it previously in a couple other videos, how she said it's just a must-have, it's really gorgeous. It is really gorgeous. I have really been enjoying it. I don't think it's incredibly a unique shade. Um, I think it's just a very wearable, great, everyday shade. Um, a color that's kind of similar to this that I personally love is the Mally uh, Champagne. No, Mally Sugar. And the sugar is a little bit more champagne-like. So that's why, to me, I wasn't as blown away by it because I, ha I had this. She may have never heard of this before. I think this is a little prettier, but this is really nice. Um, and I think this, this you can readily purchase. This one, I think, came in a kit of QVC, and I'm not sure if you can still purchase the Age Rebel eyeshadow. It's a little trickier to get, but QVC at Christmas time usually puts this type of shade or this particular one in a kit. Um, so if you can't find this one, this is a really good one. It really stays on nicely. It's held on my shadows. My shadows have not creased. So yeah, I've been really enjoying cream shadow sticks. They're just easy. It's like one and done, blend it out, put a little shadow over it, be done with it, or just wear it by itself. I don't know, I've been really into that. Um, I want to mention this really quickly, and I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm going to have a full review tomorrow, uh, like a chit chat, get ready with me actually, um, and then I just included a little review to give you my thoughts on it while I'm using it, but it's the Lorac Pro 3. This is what I went to Ulta for when I said I was going to Ulta on Tuesday. I bought this, and I bought this, and then I um, replenished my Brow Wiz, which I'm freaking... You just can't get anything of it. The Brow Definer by Anastasia is amazing, and the Brow Wiz. Like, it's just my jam. It's what I use. Um, but anyways, someone had asked me what I bought, and those are the three things I bought. So tomorrow, you will see all my thoughts on it. But let me just give you my one little thought. Do you see? I didn't blow this. This is from using it. I didn't blow this. I didn't blow the residual dust off. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. And lipstick. The last things I wanted to share with you. So Tuesday I talked about this lipstick, the Verbena by Bite, how stunning it is. When I went out to Ulta that day, I went to Ulta, Target, and a few other places, I literally got three compliments, not only on my outfit, but on this lipstick. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying it because it is a very unique, gorgeous, rosy terracotta shade. Um, several people were just like, what is that? And it's, I think it's unique enough that you need it. Um, it's just a great everyday shade. I think it's a great summer color, but I also think it's going to be a great transitional color into fall, you know? Think of leaves, like maple leaves, you know? So, really been enjoying that. And then the other color that looks great on top of it, like paired in the center or on its own, this is what it looks like on its own, is Ginger Snap. This screams summer. It's a very brighter like definitely a lot brighter than Verbena, but it's a bright, juicy peach shade. It's just, it's gorgeous. If you're not into bright lipsticks, it still is great layered with Verbena, truly. You put Verbena all over, put this in the center, and it, that, these two actually remind me of like the outside of a peach, you know what I mean? But I really love the Bite formula, especially the new Amuse Bouche. They're just, 
they're creamy they're so comfortable they're not lipsticky um they're just really flattering on they make your lips look just kind of full and juicy here let me zoom you in i feel like it just makes your lips look kind of juicy and everything like that so now that i have you zoomed in i am wearing this palette today on my eyes now i'm going to use completely different colors in tomorrow's uh, video. I didn't use any of the same colors today that I use tomorrow. Um, but I just kind of did, uh, today I used, let me just, oh, this is just, it's a mess. Okay. You know, Lorac shadows, they're messy. <sighs> today I used pink nude all in my crease. And then I took amethyst pretty much in my outer V, kind of blended it up into my crease a little bit. And then I have medallion which everyone in the reviews has said this is kind of like a dud. It is. It's the chunkiest one. There's not a whole lot of payoff. This one kind of sucks, but the rest are good. Um, and then I took light gold on my lid. So medallion and light gold are on my lid, and that's it. No, I took a tiny little bit of rose bronze to kind of blend things out. But yeah, so that's my eye look today, and you will see another look tomorrow. Don't miss it. It's actually... A really fun get ready with me. I had fun with it because is it my first get ready with me I've filmed since being here? It is. I think I think it is. So of course you know. 150 things to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, chat and loves. I look forward to chatting with you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you soon. Bye guys.